Paper of the week. Week, week, week. All right. So this is the paper of the week. And I, t- I read the title because it's kind of cool. People might have noticed a- over the years that people criticize us occasionally for not doing what everyone else does. For example, the dirty chai with the black pepper or let's um, throw black pepper and everything and let's make turmeric not work without black pepper. You know, that crap. I keep talking about it. Guess what? In the American Society for Nutrition in 2018, which is this year, um, in fact, they just published it, a paper saying the problem of curcumin and its bioavailability, could its gastrointestinal influence contribute to its overall health enhancing effects? Fair fucking chance. (laughs) Actually, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, we did it. Um... (laughs) So basically what this paper is saying and what we've been saying for a long time is in the early days they did all the studies on turmeric because they realised turmeric was helping people do a lot of great and amazing things and preventing them from cancers and horrible pain and stress and anxiety and a lot of different stuff. They then went to analyse turmeric to see what the active was and that's when they found curcuminoids or curcumin. They then decided we've got to find out how this curcumin works. They found out it wasn't absorbed well and that's when they split. Half of the world, I don't know what the percentage was actually, but some people went off and said, we need to make curcumin bioavailable and that will make turmeric work because it's a scam. So let me go back a step. They decided, they worked out that turmeric was really good for you. Then they studied it and found that it wasn't absorbed. So then one group says, it can't possibly be good for you unless we make it absorbed. So they went and started doing black pepper, liposomal spheres and little bubbles of oils, all weird-ass things to get the curcuminoids to be absorbed into your body so they can saturate your whole body. They've now realised that that does not make it work better. In fact, it may make it work less. (laughs) So what they've decided to do, have gone back, In the meantime, while some people have been selling turmeric with enhanced bioavailability, making claims that it works better with absolutely no justification, the rest of the world has gone back to look at the other mechanisms of actions of turmeric. Because like I said, right at the start, we knew turmeric worked. When they're trying to work out how it works is when they discovered poor bioavailability, which created a whole whole heap of drugs that people are buying right now. The rest of the scientists went and said, hey, turmeric always worked. It doesn't obviously work through bioavailability. How else could it possibly work? And now what they've done is they've discovered that it's gut-derived anti-inflammatory effects, its ability to heal over the leaky gut wall, its ability to regulate your innate defense mechanisms in regards to infections, your innate um, defense mechanisms that are contributing to autoimmunity, allergies and intolerances that are adding burden to the liver, its ability to activate NRF2 receptors through the mucosa, through the liver. Again, all of these things will control your innate defense mechanisms, which is basically a series of inflammation, oxidative stress, and physical and emotional mental stress. Turmeric works in the mucosa to protect against all of that. That's how it works. It's finally been published. If you make turmeric more bioavailable, it will bypass all of those things. It'll saturate the body and miss the target that we're aiming for. And everyone's been thinking I'm a nut for, for doing... Fuck, I couldn't even say that. Then. Everyone's been thinking I'm a loony. That was a loony nut turned into a... Um, everyone thinks I'm weird because I've been saying this for ages. And now that it's published, hopefully you believe me. <laughs> Paper of the week.